doing? Today is Monday. It's a uh, new week. For the last two weeks, I was talking about marriage. And I think I did a good job at talking about marriage. Um, you know, God really used me to show some insight to the married people. Now, this week, I want to talk about, I want to talk to the singles. This week, I want to talk to the singles. And today, I want to talk about stop making the same mistakes. Don't keep making the same mistakes. Like they say, it's insanity to keep doing the same thing over and over again and, and expect to get different results. It's insanity to, to keep doing the same thing and not learn from your mistakes. And see, Saturday I did a video, uh, I talked about the video Hurt Bay that went viral. And it was about the lady, uh, the young, young lady named Courtney, her her ex-boyfriend did a video of him confessing about his cheating. And like I always say this, um, you know, not all the time, but most majority of the time, a woman can avoid being cheated on. Because one of the reasons why a woman get cheated on is because they ignore the red flags. They ignore their woman intuition. They, 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 they know something ain't right before going to a relationship. You know, and they just go right into the relationship. And then one of the biggest mistakes a woman make, she rush and sleep with a man. Like I say, you know, I, I don't judge nobody. So I'm not trying to judge. I'm just trying to educate. I'm trying to empower you. So if you made that mistake before, stop making it. Stop making it. And see, people act like it's a bad thing for a woman to not be having sex if she's not married. People think that's a bad thing. Um, I was on this certain, this certain um, group on Facebook and the post they put up was saying, when was the last time, you know, you slept with somebody? A lot of people were saying, you know, just last night, yes, yesterday. But this one particular lady said three and a half years. And people come in on her comment like she's like something wrong with her because she went, she going that long without having sex, without giving her body. So I come in on that, on, on her comment. I said, sweetheart, don't feel bad about that. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's a good thing for a woman to be going a long time before she give herself up. Because she respect herself. She know her self-worth. She know her value. And she refuses to give a man something that don't want to commit to her. So if you're a woman, it's been a long time since you slept with somebody. Don't feel bad. Be proud of yourself. Because to me, that is a great accomplishment. That is a great accomplishment. There's a great goal that you accomplished. If you went three years, two years, four years with not sleeping with nobody because you tired of men using you, you tired of men taking your body and not committing to you, not want to put a ring on your finger and marry you, you are a strong woman. You are a woman of worth. You are a woman of value. It takes a strong woman to do that. So don't feel bad. And for the ones who are not Growing the ones who are sleeping around with guys and they're not committing to you. Don't feel bad. Just stop making the same mistakes That's it just stop making the same mistakes over and over again It don't make no sense to keep making the same mistakes over and over again and you expect to get different results When you make mistakes either two things could happen You're gonna grow from it or you're gonna let it Keep you back. How you go for making mistakes? Learn from your mistake and make up your mind up that I'm not going to make the same mistake over and over again. This is my last time making the mistake. But if you don't learn from your mistake, and see, if you've been cheated on, let me say this. If you've been cheated on, I know it hurts. Move on. If somebody's cheating on you, see, I get so many messages in my inbox, like, you know, in my messenger. He's cheated on me multiple times. And what should I do? He don't respect me. He treat me like crap. What should I do? My response is leave. I don't sit there and take no whole paragraph trying to explain myself. Just leave. That's it. Don't let nobody cheat on you and you still and you allow it. Leave. Know your word. Know your word. 
Stop keep stop making the same mistakes. Letting guys cheat on you. Letting guys do what they want to do with you. Letting guys don't appreciate and value you. Stop making the same mistakes. Learn from that. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you will not grow. You will not grow. You will not grow. I always tell y'all this. Know your word. It's better to be single. And you can be single and happy. It's better to be single and happy than to be with somebody that and be miserable. Then to be with somebody that's cheating on you, that's lying on you, that's not respecting you, that don't value you, that don't treat you like a queen. Women are made to be treated like queens. Women are made to be held. That's what you are made for. Because you're a very uh, emotional creature and God made you all that way for a reason. And I always say women is here. Your number one need as a woman is love. And whenever you don't feel love in a relationship, it's time to move on. Because when a man stops showing you love, either he with somebody else or he just not into you no more, whatever for whatever reason. But nine times out of ten, it's somebody else out there that he's he trying to pursue or uh, he's been seeing. Not all the time, but most of the times. So whenever you don't feel love, it's time to move on. Learn from your mistakes. Thank y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you like this video, please share the video. Help me share the video, please. Please share the video. God bless y'all. Hey, take it easy, man.